Welcome to the MyCRM Resource Center for Microsoft Dynamics 365. Please subscribe to our channel. We provide these training videos for free out of hours. Hi, my name is Alistair Dickinson. I'm the CEO CMO of MyCRM Group. Um, and today we're going to be looking at a quick demonstration of how to create an advanced find query in Microsoft Dynamics 365. Back looking at Microsoft Dynamics 365 with the advanced find. Um, in this video, we're going to look at the different types of queries and building related queries. Um, so bear with us, here we go. Firstly, let's open the, our account view again and then select the advanced find from the top right corner. You'll notice the advanced find opens. Uh, it's already set to accounts, it's already active. So what we're gonna do is just have a quick drop down here. Um, and you, what you'll notice is, is there are all of the record types within Microsoft Dynamics. So you can use advanced find to query data right across the platform. Um, it's a very powerful tool. And as an administrator, I can actually see everything. Um, that might be a slightly different view for you. I might want to select my contacts, um, or I might want to stay with my accounts. So I'm going to stick with contacts. What I'm going to do is drop down the selection field. Um, so what I might want to do is look for contacts that have a given credit limit, or I might want to look for contacts that have uh, do not email or certain descriptions. What I am going to do is just very quickly select the main city. Change that. Um, now what we're looking for, before it was equals, so now you've got the option to it not equaling, it contains, begins with, all of these will change the way the query operates and equals is obviously something that matches perfectly. Opposite is the does not equal. Contains will contain a string within your search does not contain, so it's the opposite of. Um, you can set begins with, so you could start with a letter. So I might select begins with and have just L. I can then search and I'll find all of the I'm gonna put an L. Um, this is the city name, so anything that begins with L will bring those contacts back. So let me hit the results. And there you can see I've got records um, what I am going to do now is just go back to my query because I want to see some more data. So I'm going to edit those columns um, because I'm only seeing the two fields at the moment. I want to add some extra columns in. Um, this is very powerful because I can add any of those fields in from the contact record. I can add that city in. Um, I might want to add the company name or the company phone number. And you can see these are then added at the top. I'm just going to select that. Um, I'm now going to run that query again and what you'll see is that my address first L um, for all of those beginning with L I don't know why I'd search for a city always beginning with L but I might want to do that um, so you can see that that's been brought back in that query Now, what I also might want to do um, and this is also very powerful um, I've, I could also build up uh, other fields so I might want to select the city again begins with um, and what I'm going to do now is select that row and select that row. And I'm going to set, I'm going to group that as an all. So it, this query is now saying, bring me back all of the cities that begin with L and a B. So I result that. And you can see I've got some Bs in there as well as Ls. This is all good. Now, what I might want to do is set some additional criteria that doesn't belong to the account record. Uh, if you scroll right down to the bottom of the list view of uh, what you can query against, you can then link the sub records to, from the account. So what I might want to do is select cases for the contact um, and this then queries another set of records. What I might want to then say is the case is maybe active. Let me see if I've got a status. Yes, I can select the status. Um, equals, I'm going to do a lookup in CRM. I'm going to select active um, and then I'm going to run that query again. Now I don't know if I've got any data in the system for with cases for those addresses, but let's have a look. And no, I haven't. So there are no records that have been brought back. 
what I wanted to show was that you can actually build up uh, reasonably complex queries. You can query subsets of data. Um, I can carry on if I wanted to uh, and add additional fields. I can also carry on going uh, sub fields down so I can go from cases. I could look at the contract if I wanted to. So I could really hone down the data and, and make sure I query the right levels of data. Um, you can then go on and uh, save those uh, that query that you've built. If you wanted to edit the columns, you could do that. Um, I just wanted to show you the edit columns again because this is quite important. Um, if I go into add columns, you'll notice there's contact at the top. Um, but now I can actually also query uh, add fields in from the account name if I wanted to. Um, or I could pick up uh, preferred user. It, it, you know, it gives you additional it gives you additional records to pull data from. So I'm just going to cancel that. So you can go ahead and save this query if you wanted to. You can just click the save as, uh, give it a new name, um, contact case view. This is going to create a personal view, so I can save, go ahead, save that. Um, and then if I then close the advanced finds, or if I just move the advanced find away, I'm going to swap to the contacts view. And if I then drop that down, you can see I've got my special contact view case. This is the same query that we've just created in advanced find. So let's bring that query back in. You can uh, you can extend these queries. You can have more fields. You can do uh, sub and an ors um, in the same way. Um, data. From here, I can obviously clear my query. I can edit the columns. I can edit the properties. So that would just rename it. Um, I can group and not. I can look at my uh, sort of details. That's the sort of detail view. That's the query view. Um, so yeah, very powerful tool, very uh, easy to query data uh, across your Microsoft Dynamics 365. Um, if you have any questions, obviously, you can come and uh, drop my CRM a line. Um, and that really ends this video on Advanced Find. I just wanted to show you the ability to do multiple queries. For information or help with your Microsoft Dynamics 365 deployment, uh, please contact us, give us a call, send us an email or connect with us on social media. Don't forget, subscribe to our channel.